All right, this is part six of modeling this submarine for Blender Challenge 20 vehicle. I have been waiting all day to get to this. Um, in my last video, which ended up being a time lapse, I modeled the stretchers and the straps holding them down. And since then, I've just gone on and I've made a couple of, of cylinders and created a method that they could be held down um, to this wire mesh. And I made some uh, a med kit and i've just instanced that stuff along and when i come to texture it i'll i'll have to delete all those and just do one and copy them um they're pretty simple objects so i'm not going to go into how i made them unless somebody wants to ask me about them what i really want to get to is this nose cone i want to delete that and i want to delete these and i want to uh, start working on this thing all right, so I just want to check and see. So there's a mirror on here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and apply that mirror. And I'm going to come in here and we're going to delete this stuff here that I made uh, the other time. So uh, as you can see, we, we actually have a problem here. Uh, so I'm going to have to fix that up. So I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. So let's just come in here and delete all these faces here. We want all that stuff and we want all this in here. And we want all this in here. And hopefully I don't delete anything else. Just that stuff. Now, up here we seem to have a problem. So I'm going to turn that off for the moment. And come in here and see what is going on here all this stuff here should be central so i'm going to scale x zero so that should be like that i may have to come back to that but here's what i'm going to do i'm going to look from the side i'm going to go into edit mode and wireframe and i actually want all of this right there so i'm going to take that back piece shift d and i'm going to duplicate it out here p to break it out making a new selection or a new object sorry go in rotate z 180. all right so i've got that now in edge selection i'm going to shift alt and click there and s y zero to straighten that stuff out all right i'm going to take this piece and i'm going to bring it forward And I am going to uh, press S and scale just a little bit. We're going to try to match this up as much as we possibly can. Now, this one does not have a mirror on it. Okay, fair enough. What I'm going to do is select that and select those two pieces, slash key. I'm going to focus just on that. I'm going to go into edit mode. And I'm going to look at my edges because what I want to do is I want to merge these together. And what you can see is this will line up, that will line up. I mean, the scale may not be exactly right. Um, but right uh, here, I have an extra edge loop that I didn't before. Now, if I just put one in, let's see how that affects that. I don't really see any adverse uh, uh, situations to that. Um, and so, and another one there pulls it out a little bit yeah I may have to do some work in fact I may be getting rid of this I'm doing something different now they're not quite lining up and I believe some of that is if I press N and I look at the mean crease here I have 0 0.93 there and here um, let's just take that I have one so let's uh, make this okay this is 0 0.93 so let's take all of this stuff and make it a zero point I'll make it 0 0.9 and uh, here I'm going to add a mean crease here I make it 0 0.9 as well see if they start to line up a bit better now I'm going to take this and I'm going to scale it down just a little bit Got to turn the subdivision back on on that piece there. 
Okay, so let's go back into both of these and see what we else what else we need to do. Yeah, I think I'll take all of this. Look from the side. I'm going to scale it again. That's the scale globally, and just try to match those edges up a bit. Pull it out this way. It's a little trial and error. Okay, so I'm just looking to see that I can get vertices to line up. Okay, I've got I've got one here that I don't have here, so I'm just going to drop one in there. And here, and I don't have one here, I'm just going to drop it in. Okay, let's come around. There it is. I forgot this part here. I need an edge loop there. I need an edge loop there. There it is. Merge. I'm going to actually dissolve that edge. Okay, now I'm going to try dissolving a few edges and moving a few things around. I am going to take a chance and dissolve this edge here, believe it or not. X, dissolve edges. And I now have a relatively uh, smooth structure. This stuff has become a little deformed. And yeah. Okay, let's bring everything back and see this. Okay, let's come in here, have a look. 0 0.7 is what, what I have uh, along here. Okay, so let's do that here on all of these, wherever they are, wherever they go. I'm going to select from there to there and on the back. Um, I think I'm going to uh, delete those faces for now. I'm just make it a little easier. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do all of these and oh, I didn't hit control today. And I'm going to make this a 0 0.7. We'll try to be consistent all the way through. I just want to see how that line looks. Okay, not bad. Hmm. Yeah, I think I could probably live with that. And I may even scale this ever so slightly. I was actually thinking of getting rid of this. So let's let's have a look at this. If I did get rid of those faces and I had that, I could get, get rid of these faces as well. And then what I would do is I would get rid of the mean crease here. Let's bring that right back to zero. And then with that edge all selected, go to face grid fill. And I would have it clean at the front and able, you know, ready to do what I want. I'm going to go ahead and um, delete that on the other side as well. Take that and grid fill. Actually, I'll keep that. So now we have the front on there. And then I was thinking what I would do is um, let's get rid of that stuff first of all. And then it's just a question of building a window. Take that and that. We'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of those. 
and maybe I will get rid of those as well. And maybe we'll come down one more. Yeah. So we have a big window in there. Looks like I may have deleted some extra faces here. See, did I do that on the other side? All right, well, that's a good uh, reason to uh, to mirror. All right, so let's grab this and let's look down from the top and go into edit mode. Uh, one for vertex and let's turn off the subdivision surface and let's see. First of all, I need all of this stuff to be right in the middle. SX0 and I don't think it was and so I'm going to hopefully delete just what I don't need okay and I better put uh, the 3d cursor right in there. see I didn't get rid of everything here and try to put the 3d cursor right down the center of this thing it may be a little bit off Let's bring the 3D cursor there and, and fix it up when we need to. Um, so let's mirror it. Let's bring the mirror to the top. Let's turn on clipping and let's go in and look at this and we'll see we got some issues. So what I'm gonna do is I got clipping on. I'm just gonna have to yank a few things over. All right, and that will merge those extra points. So I'm just gonna do that. So it is working out for us. Let's just make sure. How's that looking? Okay, on the bottom as well. Shift Alt to click that edge and yank it in. So that's looking all right. Okay, we fix that. And you know, we have a little bit of issues here um, on the side in terms of stretching. Let's look from uh, the back. Let's see if we can see anything. Hmm, what way was that? Let's see see what that is there yeah right along there just the curvature I don't want to mess with that no I think I'm gonna well I don't know that I want to screw out with this too much Let's bring that other stuff back. And then let's look at um, giving this some thickness. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply the mirror. And before I give it any thickness or anything, I'm going to work on this or something I wanted to do. I just want to grab this. Actually, let's uh, merge by distance in case. I just want to grab this. And E, pull it forward, scale it in. E and S and F, and then drop an edge loop down here. Move it a little bit slow, so I'm going to turn that off for a moment. And an edge loop here. And uh, maybe I'll need an edge loop up here. Let's have a look at that. I don't like that sharp that is, so I'm going to uh, remove uh, the middle one. And have it like that. Now there is something else I want to do. You'll see in a bit. Let's look at uh, solidify. Okay, and which way are we going? I want to go in. Give it some thickness. Something like that. I'm going to go ahead and apply that, and then come in and drop a couple of edge loops. One up. Turn that up and one down like that turn that back on so we've got some thickness there probably put some glass and that helps me out in this area as well 
All right. Um, if I did want to put in glass for the moment, what I would do is I would copy one of those edges, Shift D, P to break it out. Select that. Go in. Uh, I don't think I got the whole thing. I just got that piece. Yeah. All right. So go in, choose a different edge that goes all the way around. Let's try this one. Yes, it does. Shift D, P. Now I got that. I'll come in and I will do grid fill and shade smooth. And, you know, that can just sit there for now. I'm not sure if I want it like that. But the other thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to take these bolts at the back and I'm going to copy those, bring them to the front, and go into edit mode, rotate Z 180, and I wanted to put them on the front. I just thought that would just add a little bit of extra nice detail for this thing. Just like that. Let's make sure everybody is facing the right way. Yeah, looks good so far. So now I'm free to um, add extra detail on here if I want to. I still, of course, have to do these, I don't know, thrusters or jets or whatever they are. And then I can decide if there's something that I want to do with that piece there. I want to close it up. I want to put a pipe coming through. If I did want to close it up, I mean, I could just, you know, select that edge and, and fill it. And... Uh, throw some kind of edge loop down there or, or select it and press I to inset and just do that for the time being you know if I don't know what I'm going to do with that all right let's bring that stuff back now have I destroyed anything all right so we got that and if I now take the sub and if I say shift a collection instance sub I can bring another one in, like I said, before, like I like I showed you in the last time lapse, and you know I can just position them around and, and have a look at this. It's not increasing my polys. I'll, I like to do that so I can see it from different angles uh, in one view. Let's just grab another one and just so sort of say um, altar it. I'll rotate that in the Y. Yeah, it'll look like that. So. Um, let's see, is nobody facing the front? Let's do you facing the front. You know, so if I want, I can have an angle like this. And I can see it, like imagine it's, you know, skimming through the water that way. I can zoom in and, you know, and see some details on that with the stretchers. But I also see some of my, my other guys. You know, so I can just look at it as if it's in various positions. And that's where I'm at so far. I would say there's not a lot more modeling that I intend to do. I will fix these up. I will decide if I want to do any weird insets on this. I will look at the creases on here. All right, so that is the ship so far. Uh, then I, I will tend to go to a different matte cap, like maybe this one, and I'll turn on the shadow as well, just to get another sense of what she's looking like. Uh, with shadow underneath here and uh, how the front is looking and that kind of a thing that's a pretty darn big window considering the size of this so I may have uh, done something I shouldn't have there but on the other hand maybe it's maybe it's okay so all right, so there we go. We're moving along. Uh, a little bit more to do, and then we'll move to materials and textures.